Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry. Thank you for choosing to watch my video today. Hello if you are new and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be an air fryer recipe video. Uh, people will be asking for a little while, am I going to do any more? Well, today's the day. Um, I'm going to do three recipes. We're going to do a dessert and we're going to do some roast potatoes and some roast chicken. The dessert is a chocolate brownie. Um, it's a miserable day here in Northumberland. Um, it's July. It's warm, but it's raining. It's been raining for days and I just thought let's make the family something nice to eat. And while I do it, I'll show you how I use my air fryer. So today's video is very kindly sponsored by Kasori. We're going to be using uh, Kasori's Dual Blaze 6.4 litre Smart Air Fryer and I love it. I've been using it for weeks. It is brilliant. It has two heating elements, here it is, in all its glory. It has two heating elements on the top and the bottom so you don't need to turn or shake your food anymore um, because it heats them from both ends. It is fabulous. I love it. I love it. I love it. My favourite bit is it has, not only does it air fry, it grills and it bakes and it roasts. So the roast potatoes are amazing. I'm never using my oven for roast potatoes again. And it saves money. Because it's quicker to cook your food, well, it saves money for me. My oven is gas and this is electric. So one that saves money and it's quicker to cook the food. So anything that saves money in this day and age is perfect. Uh, at the moment, it is prime day. So if you're wanting a new air fryer, this is reduced today, so uh, make sure you click on that link and have a little look below because you're going to snag yourself a bargain. Um, but I love it. I wouldn't use any other air fryer than Kasori. I've always used a Kasori air fryer. The first air fryer I ever bought with my own money was a Kasori air fryer. And I really, really like them. I wouldn't be doing this video if I didn't. So the basket is non-stick, as are all the Kasori air fryers I've used. And it has a Christmas plate and it's all dishwasher safe. I don't have a dishwasher, but because of the non-stick coating, everything just cleans off really easily, nothing really sticks to it. If you want your food nice and crispy, or you want all the fat to drop off, if you've got chicken goujons or chicken wings, or you're making fries, it, pop it on the crisper plate and it all drop through. You can as well put um, your items directly onto the bottom of the air fryer basket. I make falafels in the air fryer, love them. They're amazing, and I do them directly on the bottom. It has an overheat protection, so if it gets too hot, it'll automatically shut off. And it has all your regular preset buttons, so your fries and your vegetables, your chicken, steak, um, seafood, all of the regular ones are all in there. And um, yeah, I could I could talk about air fryers all day. I say, have you got an air fryer? When I meet somebody, I love my air fryer. What are you making yours? <laughs> cookies, chocolate chip cookies I made in this the other day. They're brilliant. You have to do them in little batches, but they only take eight minutes per batch, so it's brilliant. And then the kids have got fresh cookies that I made at home. Absolutely love it, especially the dual function, so I don't have to flip everything. It's just brilliant. It is uh, my new favourite uh, air fryer because not only does it have a roast function, <laughs> it's got a reheat function, which is brilliant because my husband sometimes is in meetings until later than us, so if I've made something, I can quickly reheat it for him in here and he'll have a hot meal with the rest of us as well if he's not able to eat with us, so yeah. That's uh, the uh, Kasori Jewel Blaze air fryer and it's big enough because it's 6.4 litres for the whole family. So we have a family of four and it always feeds all of us. And like I say, we're gonna cook a whole roast chicken in it today, so it's just perfect. So without further ado, let's go on with the recipes. Here we have the ingredients for the chocolate brownie. I've got a seven and a half inch baking pan there, which I've lined. That did come in a set for my Kasori air fryer, which I'll leave a link for below. I've got 175 grams of golden caster sugar. I'll use half a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I've got two large eggs, 100 grams of milk chocolate chips, 40 grams of cocoa powder, 30 grams of plain flour, 125 grams of unsalted butter, and 100 grams of dark chocolate. I'm going to pop my chocolate and my butter into a pan on a really, really low heat. Stir it gently. I don't want it to burn or to bubble or to stick to the bottom of the pan. And there we go. Just a few minutes later, it's all lovely and melted together. Stir the last few bits up. Super easy. We're going to chuck it all in the pan and then straight into the air fryer. So I'm going to add my dry ingredients. I've got my 
30 grams of plain flour and then 40 grams of cocoa powder my 175 grams of golden caster sugar half a teaspoon of baking powder and then just give it a really good stir it'll dry up a little uh, but it'll be totally fine and keep it on that low heat while you're stirring it all together because you want that flour to cook nicely and to blend in really well there we go all done so turn the heat off and then you want to whisk up your two eggs pop in your vanilla extract pop in your eggs and then give that a really good stir as well and the heat is off at the moment as well you have to remember that because you don't want the eggs to start cooking too quickly before you're going to put the brownie mixture into the air fryer so again really quick as you can speed is the of the essence so the eggs don't start cooking too much and give it a really really good stir and then move it off the heat completely and then you want to add into there your 100 grams of chocolate chips once that's off the heat because else they will just melt instantly faster than what they're going to anyway give them a good stir in and then get your lined uh, tray one that will fit into your air fryer pop the brownie mixture into your tray as quickly as you can so you can get it into the air fryer and get it cooking and that's it this is real time i haven't sped any of it up the only little clip i took out was when i was melting the butter and the chocolate because you don't need to see that melting all the way it maybe took a minute more than what was on the clip got and then pop it straight into your air fryer onto the bottom of the basket close it up and then really carefully so we don't spill it and then we're going to turn the air fryer on and select the bake setting and then you're going to keep the heat at 160 and then turn it up to 25 minutes and press play and then in 25 minutes as if by magic you should have some delicious chocolate brownies that are crispy on the outside squidgy in the inside and that's how we like it if you want it a little firmer in the middle all you have to do is cook it for a few minutes more and then pop a cocktail stick in and if it comes out clean or a skewer then you know that it's done mine would be a little bit uh, dirty on take them out really carefully because that's really hot really carefully Kerry and then leave that to cool down for a few minutes before you take it out of the pan just use a, um, a spatula to loosen it tip it out onto a wire rack and let it cool down before you cut your brownie into portions you can see there where the milk chocolate chips have cooked into it it's really tasty cut it with a sharp knife and then you've got your dessert ready for uh, after your tea or dinner or lunch or whatever you want to call it. And you can see there, delicious, perfect chocolate brownie. There we go, crumbly on top and squidgy in the middle, just how we like them. I like to pop mine in the microwave for about 10 seconds to warm it back up again and have a scoop of vanilla ice cream with it. So while the brownies were cooking, I took my chicken out of the oven. That's a 1.4 kilogram chicken. I've got a sprig of rosemary from the garden, two sprigs of thyme. I've got 40 grams of butter, which I've melted very slightly, and three garlic cloves. And all I'm going to do is take the rosemary leaves off the uh, branch there, or twig, sprig, whatever you want to call it, and just very quickly, finely chop those up. I'm going to pop those into the melted butter and then with the uh, thyme, all you need to do with the thyme is take the leaves off the stalks and pop the leaves in and then crush your garlic cloves into the butter. Use all the garlic. It makes it taste really good, apparently. I don't eat the chicken, just my husband and children do. But it's be absolutely perfect. Crush it all in. Season with some uh, sea salt and some fresh black pepper. Lots of black pepper makes it taste delicious. And then you want to give that a good stir to make it all combine. So you're going to spread it evenly over all of the chicken. And I just use a pastry brush and spread it all over onto the wings, onto the legs and everywhere. And make sure that you cover it really well so the butter um, really soaks into it. And it will keep the chicken nice and tender 
the more butter. If, when it's a turkey, I think I use three times this amount of butter. But for a chicken, that will suffice. Pop it uh, onto the crisper tray in your air fryer. So all the juices and the fat drop out through the bottom. And then you want to turn it on. And with this one, you select the roast function at 180 degrees for 50 minutes. And then you will have a delicious, fully cooked, crispy chicken in 50 minutes. Like I say, that's a 1.4 kilogram chicken. That's a medium chicken. And it's perfect. It is cooked all the way through. So I just use my um, tongs to really carefully take it out. Pop it onto a plate and let it rest for a little while while I finish off the rest of the dinner. And I'm just going to get a little tin foil and cover it loosely to keep um, some of that heat in and some of the uh, warmth so it stays nice and juicy and nice and tender. So while this delicious roast chicken has been cooking in my air fryer, I have been peeling my potatoes. I did this section while that was cooking, rinsed them, popped them into a pan of cold water and then I have parboiled them for about five minutes. So all this was going on while the cook chicken was cooking and I've got about uh, 1.4 kilograms of potatoes there. Chuff them up after you've rinsed them out of your pan to make them fluffy on the edges. Then you want to put them straight into the bottom of the air fryer pan on the bottom so they get nice and crispy and then all I do is I use two tablespoons of oil I like to use rapeseed oil on my roast potatoes it works brilliantly and it has a really nice high smoke point so it cooks lovely and then close it up give it a little shake if you want if you need to coat them a little more turn your air fryer on I use the roast function on this dual blaze because I love the roast function, it makes them perfect. Keep it at 205 degrees, 25 minutes, and that's the perfect amount of time for roast potatoes. It's half the amount of time it takes in the oven to cook. Look at those. Perfect. Don't need to do anything to them. You could have halfway through added some garlic and rosemary if you wanted, but to me that's perfect. So we've got our chocolate brownies for our dessert. Perfect crispy roast potatoes and they are beautiful and fluffy inside and then our crispy roast chicken and I've just cut a little bit there so you can see it and it is perfect all the way through and obviously you can test it with a meat thermometer if you want to. I've got a couple of sides of some sage and onion stuffing, gravy and broccoli and really simple midweek dinner completely done in the air fryer. And I just want to say thanks again to Kasori for sponsoring today's video. I hope you've enjoyed my recipes. I really have loved using this air fryer so much. I have hardly used my oven at all. And because it is Prime Day today and tomorrow on Amazon, they are giving everyone a huge 20% off for orders today and tomorrow. So go and check it out and see what you think. It really does do everything. Keeps warm, air fries, reheats. You couldn't ask for more, really, could you? <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed my recipes today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.